So you might be trying to go ahead and do a quick little reset of a frozen Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, this is something you could do if your phone is randomly just not powering back on or if it's fro or if it's frozen. This is something you can do just in case you don't want to like fully like factory reset your phone, and this can usually end up fixing some problems you might be experiencing. Now, number 1, the first thing I'd recommend doing is to hold down the power button plus the volume down button. So hold both of these buttons down, both the volume, the power button and the volume down button. And you want to hold down both these buttons for about like 10 to 15 seconds. So you want to keep holding both these phones, these buttons down. And after a little bit of time, your phone should completely power off like it does here. And then you should be able to basically see that your phone, if you let go of the buttons, your phone will be completely powered off. So hold on both these buttons for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then when you see this black screen, you want to hold down this button again, the power button, and you want to load back up your Samsung Galaxy phone. So sometimes that's all you're going to have to do. You can see if you just go through and hold down this power button just a couple of times for like a few more seconds, this phone should go through and power back up. And that's another thing you can do. If the phone is still being weird, you can go hold down both the power button and the volume down button again. Can you continue to hold down both these buttons again until the Samsung logo appears? and your phone is going to vibrate and it's going to restart and that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. So it can take a little bit of time as you can probably imagine. If for some reason you do this and this is not working for you, the next thing you can try doing is to literally just plug in your phone into some sort of like power outlet. So in some cases you won't even have to do it, but you can plug in your phone to some sort of charging port and sometimes that can kick on your phone to go and start charging or start turning on as well. So those are just a couple ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.